is set to go to work tomorrow. It's already 9.28. So that means I'll sleep. 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 11.30, 2. 5 hours and 43 minutes. Okay. 5 hours and 30. Or whatever. That's what my phone said. <laughs> Good night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when my alarm rings. So this is my drawer where I keep all my work outfits. So it's basically just a bunch of lingerie. Um, this is probably the hardest part of my getting ready in the morning because it's too early to just want to look cute, grab whatever. Yeah, that's it. Let's do it. Okay, just so you guys get an idea of how uh, lazy I guess you could say I am. It's already... Basically 3.40 a.m. I have to be at work in 20 minutes. It's not down the street. I have to, the drive is maybe like 15 minutes. Um, like I've asked my bosses numerous times if I could start working the 10 to 3 shifts. That would be honestly ideal for me, but I work the 4 to 10. I made Enrique go get gas for me. Howard was thirsty. I know. I was supposed to put gas yesterday and I forgot, so he was kind enough to do it. Brought it. Bye. Thank you. making coffee and I'm wearing lingerie while I'm doing it so I would say you make same money sometimes as a stripper maybe not on a good night because I know strippers make a lot of money um, but you could also make that much money too working here so. is it illegal to have your light on I don't think so for some reason like when you're little your parents tell you oh don't turn the light on in the car because the cops will pull you over or whatever. But right. so I'm gonna see most of the clientele is gonna be men. I think I see a woman customer like once every five months or something crazy like that. Like I've it's counted the times I've seen a woman <laughs> pop by the stand. So yeah, I don't see women <laughs> that much during the day. And when they do actually come and see you, like they're either really nice or they're just really rude. Like they act like they don't know that it's a bikini stand, but I mean, the logo has a coffee cup and a girl in a bikini is on the coffee cup. So I don't know. I don't know how much more obvious it can be. But yeah, I've had my share of women like yell at me and say how could you do this you should be ashamed of yourself and blah 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 but I don't know like I just shut the window like I don't need to hear that I don't have time for it I mean sometimes I do there's no line so I do have time for it but I don't feel like listening to it for the most part the customers are pretty nice um, you build your clientele so I already have my clientele that comes and sees me. They, a lot of them are super nice and I've become friends with them. Like I don't hang out with them obviously, but like I'll talk to them sometimes out of work. And by 
by that like not even texting I have my own barista account where I advertise like hey I'm gonna be working here if you guys want to come see me like here's the address because this company is the most popular in Washington I would say yeah it is probably the most popular bikini company out there um, so they have so many stands like probably over 40 I would say it also determines how much you're kind of gonna make in a day because some stands are terrible like so bad day for me would be making like 150 or 200 in tips that's for me that's not that good on a good day I think the most I've made in one day is a thousand like I was saying it all depends on what stand they put you at so obviously the better girls are gonna have them at the busier stands and then there's okay stands and then there's super slow stands I've worked a little bit of everything sales is a thing you need to make a certain amount of sales in order to stay at a good stand so you have to hustle a little bit but I obviously don't plan on doing this for the rest of my life I'm doing it pay bills right now like Enrique's going to school and he's doing that full time thankfully this job has given us the opportunity to have a nice apartment have a nice car I'm able to pay for his school you know we can eat we can go out like I make pretty good money for the most part so I just ran over some animal. I mean, it was already run over, but you know. So that's the good part. The bad part is like, yeah, it's dangerous. It's, you're putting yourself out there. Like I'm at a little stand, a stalker could easily come and comfort me, but I, for the most part, always come prepared because you know, I've had my share of scary things happen. I don't know why I didn't start earlier. I would have saved up so much money, but I kind of just heard about it like a couple years ago and tried it out, hated it, but I was like, oh my gosh, this is good tips. So that's been what's made me stay is the tips, the money. Okay, so I'm pulling up. Um, nobody's waiting for me, which I like, and I always look around because you know you need to be alert about your surroundings there can be a creep waiting for you and you know just like make sure you look around because i've watched a lot of forensic files and i'm not about to be trapped in someone's basement for the rest of my life so okay so i'm here thankfully nobody's waiting for me i kind of hate that because then it like pressures you and you know, try to do everything really fast i always wear this robe one, because it's cold. <laughs> uh, two, you know, I've had my share of creeps stare through the window. And I don't want them to see me in my lingerie. So, I carry my little bag. And, okay. And then make sure I have my pepper spray ready. Right, let's go in. So most of the stands are like super tiny so I bring my own chair because I'm about to stand for six hours Inside the stand, it's kind of creepy. Let me turn on the lights here. Okay. I get here, and the first thing I have to do is just prepare everything like the water and water and spoons, you know, make sure I got coffee and everything. I have to make sure that the breeze last night closed correctly. Set up my chair. <laughs> Come on. There. Perfect little chair. So I can sit in real. So this is what I meant by sales. So 
four, five, six, seven, eight. This is like the hours that I'm here. And then every time I get a car, I have to like put a tally. So for the most part, I get maybe like between 35 to 45 customers. Just kind of depends how busy the day is. But this is what I mean. It's like super dark and scary, which yeah, it's creepy. Like they can't see in here. They can through this window, but there's like a, a sign that window. But I had a guy that would go between that sign and the window and he would come see me imagine that at 4 a.m in the morning so i'm always like looking at that window making sure nobody's looking in here anymore because it's pretty creepy so yeah that's the only window i do not like the rest are tinted okay so i already got my first customer of the day um and he tipped 11 dollars. so and yeah he's a regular and super sweet nice guy doesn't say perverted things which is which is always the best type of customers when they just they tip good they're not saying a bunch of creepy things they just come for their coffee enjoy the view leave a nice tip for me i don't know it's hit or miss when you start this early like sometimes it'll be super busy which is weird you wouldn't think at 4 a.m it'd be busy but there's actually a lot of jobs that start the same as me and there's people just coming out of work which is crazy like I would not want to work that but yeah a lot of people are just getting off work so they come by and still get a coffee for yeah, some it's already 4 30 I've only had one person that's what I mean like it's always different sometimes I'll have like five six cards at 4 a.m which I guess there's still half an hour like it's possible but I don't know you kind of feel the day and I feel like it's not gonna be busy this hour so yeah but it's fine because I'm honestly just, it's comfortable. I'm <laughs> literally getting paid to just sit here in my comfy little chair and usually I just watch videos on YouTube. Okay, it's 4.48. Um, I just had my second customer, so it's been like 15 minutes. So the drinks are $9. Pretty much everything's $9. So he paid for his drink and there's a dollar extra and then he tipped me 40 Again, another regular, like I said, yeah, the stand's not busy, busy, but the people that come to the stand, like, they tip really good. So, yeah, it's been almost an hour, and I've made 40, I've made 50, $52 in tips so far, so, and that's not including my hourly wage, which is basically nothing, but, you know, it adds up at the end, like, like the check. They add up, but then, like, it's nice having that extra little cash when you get your check so it's kind of like another work day um but yeah that's what i mean like so yeah that's that's exactly why it's so nice living in washington having the opportunity to work at these stands like so many girls here are you know just trying to pay for school you know they have families like me i have my husband and my daughter so you know i'm just trying to make a life for us and yeah so it's a good job to have to save up money for something that you want to do in the future so i also have um a paypal so whenever customers can't see me sometimes they just like leave me tips on my paypal so right now i have 99 dollars and 69 cents so accept the money and then just put it in my bank now 5 30 let's count the tips um let's see here Okay, so 75 cash, 99 PayPal, been here an hour and a half. Okay, so my last two customers have both tipped 10. The average tip I get per customer is 5 to 10, and obviously sometimes people are more generous and they want to tip more. So, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, all you're doing is making coffee, so I... I'm happy with five dollars you know five dollars is kind of what the bracelet will say it's acceptable and yeah maybe it sounds greedy like saying oh why aren't you tipping anything but we are literally almost naked and it's kind of disrespectful if you don't tip you know every time I go somewhere I always tip and they're fully clothed so I think if you're a man coming here you know you should you should tip you know that's, that is where we make most of our money 
So my next shift barista is here, which is so nice because usually baristas are like 20 minutes late, 10 minutes late a lot of the time, but she is always on time, which I love. So Today was actually really, really slow. Like, I don't know if it was because it was labor weekend, so I think that might have been why. But yeah, I did like 100 in sales less than I usually do. So we'll see if I get yelled at, because in this industry, like, if you don't do good sales, like, you will get yelled at. It's, everybody's like scared. They're like, oh, my sales. Like, all the girls just like, they're like, kind of like a community they text each other and they're they say hey are you slow today or are you like we're always texting so that way we don't feel as guilty when our stand is slow because then we're like oh well your stand is slow too so maybe the boss won't chew me specifically you know they'll kind of be mad at everybody and not say anything because sometimes they do say stuff and it's just like so awkward and kind of irritating so yeah I haven't sent my sales because you send it to the boss when you're done, but I haven't even sent it yet because I don't want to. I don't know. I'll, pull, I'll just pull it off for a little bit. Tips, they were okay. I also felt like I didn't see a lot of my regulars. I just feel like a lot of people are on vacation right now. So, I don't know. I haven't counted my tips yet. I'll count them once I get home and show you guys. But, yeah, I don't think I did that great. It went pretty good at first. Like, at first I was doing good. I thought it was going to be a busy day. But, you know, that's the thing with this job. It's a lot like being a stripper because you don't know. Every day is so different. You can have good days. You can have bad. It's not consistent. But for the most part, it's pretty good, even when it's The stack feels low. <laughs> Five, well, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 334, which is okay. Overall, a decent day considering how slow it was. Um, that was a six hour shift, it's okay. And you brought me a coffee. And I made Enrique coffee. That's the good part about working there, you get free coffees. I think they're free. I don't know. You don't have to I, be yeah, free. I made them. And I made him an iced white mocha with raspberry. I like raspberries. And he had food ready for me. Isn't he sweet? Ow, 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 ow. Such a good house. It's husband. a <laughs> little. Um, what would you call this bread? The croissant bread. Um. This is Enrique's specialty. It's, uh, it's a special. It's the first time I make this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they look cute. It's wow. Whoa, what is that? Something in the dishwasher. Um, it's kind of like a cordon bleu, but instead of chicken on the outside, it's bread. That's how I would explain it. <laughs> I guess yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's a uh, pepper jack cheese with mm -hmm. um, smoked ham. And Ooh, look at the. And the side the details. Too. Add a little bit of mustard and Valentina. And baby avocado. Yeah, baby leftover avocado.